Good evening, everyone. It's December 7th. I have my camera lady with us today. Her name is Magnolia Rose. We are headed into a little patch of timber in between some cotton fields. Typically, it's my December spot with the old muzzleloader. Go in here and sit on the ground and catch these deer slipping down an old fence line in there. We got a good wind this evening. What do you think about the wind, Magnolia? You think it's going to be spot on? And so we're going to slide in here and we got a couple turkey stools and some warm clothes and some snacks. Can't forget the snacks, can we? Got some snacks and a bottle of water and oh, the old 58 caliber ready to let some smoke roll. So we don't have far to go. We're just going right over there. And the deer are probably already in there. They're probably watching us right now, but you know what? It don't matter. It's just, it just don't matter. Maggie watched me miss a little buck in here. Last year, was it last year, Maggie? When? When I missed the buck that we came back and tracked that I hit him in the leg. It was, yeah, it wasn't this year. Okay. Last year. Yeah. So we're going to slide in here and we're going to have to be quiet here in a second because we, well, obviously they can probably see us already. So we're going to ease up into this little patch of woods and hopefully the pin oaks are dropping and the deer are moving and we can, we can blast a cap. Got any words, Maggie? How's your head feeling? Better? Stay tuned. We'll see what's up. because the citrus out of this fruit is going that way. The deer are going to come from that way. So, hopefully.
So we got set up. We pushed the envelope today. We got really close to the fence where these deer travel. It's just an old pasture fence. And um, we got such a good wind that I felt comfortable getting really close to the thicket where they are. And so we're sitting about 15 yards from the fence. I can see up into the thicket a pretty good ways. I got this big oak tree to my left. So it'll hopefully block out this knucklehead and all of her jumping jacks she's doing. So... Maybe a deer will slip down this fence and let me get a, get my eyes on it quick enough so it doesn't see us first. But we just got settled down. You can hear the road behind us is about 300, 400 yards. And um, typically these deer cruise this fence every evening. And uh, we might just get lucky this evening. I got my old smoke pole with me. And... Uh, we're gonna give it till dark. See what's up until I can't see the see the sights anymore. Maggie, do you have anything to offer? Add suggestions? No. Well, bundle up and go to sleep. I'll wake you up when I pull the trigger. But stay tuned. We'll see what happens. It's a pretty even if the wind's in my face. You never know. Maggie's on camera. She's got the camera lady down pat. So we'll see. never been with me or your mama or my dad or anybody when we've killed a deer? No. So if we kill one tonight, this will be the first time you've ever been on a deer hunt where we killed one. Oh man, we gotta get it done. We came close the other day, didn't we, when all those deer ran by us? about it's getting over there close to five o'clock still got a good wind and we're settled down maggie's finally starting to settle down a little bit just a little bit and she'll quit waving her arms like a big flag so all the deer can see them Bam. but it's getting about that time it's a beautiful evening and uh i think we're gonna see a deer maggie's on camera i'm on smoke bowl gonna get settled here just trying to soak up the evening don't want light to slip too fast these muzzle loader sights are hard to see but i think in the next 30 minutes we'll have a deer cruise in here so fingers crossed maggie all right we'll see y'all later
to the right, see him? R-E-C on your screen. In red. In red. Okay. I might get a shot of this one. There's a big one back there. Here she comes. If she comes up close.
just see your only camera. Hold still, hold still, baby. yards. Yeah. 30 yards maybe. Oh my god. And when I shot her she was dead facing me. I put it right on her brisket. Yeah. And when she left she was tail tugged and like plowing. Yeah. And then I saw her kind of start going down on her front end. I'm pretty sure I heard her crash over there. Yeah she crashed. Did you hear the loud crash? Yeah she crashed like oh. So before we lose all the light we got, Maggie and I, I think we just killed our first deer together. And uh, how old are you? Six. When's your birthday? December 24th. And we're like 17 days out from you turning seven years old. Next year it's going to be Maggie's turn. She's going to be hunting with a longbow. But this evening we came in here and built us a little nest. And she was on camera duty tonight. She's never run this camera before, but she did a great job of filming the whole shot. Watching the deer run around, there was six or seven of them. They were chasing. There's a bunch of does. I don't think there was any bucks. Six or seven is my number. That one that run right here, did you see the one that crossed? Like I did. it ran like literally five yards from us. The one in front of us that you shot was like one yard away. She was close. She was like but, close. I never seen a deer that close to us before. But I, I took a. Yeah. 
but I had to shoot the deer facing me. She, she saw us, and they were they done run by us a bunch of times, and they looked up here and saw us sitting here, and she walked straight out at like 25 yards, and I put it right at her brisket because it typically hits a little bit high. And when I shot her, she did not leave here very good. She wasn't flopping or broken, but she was tail tucked and twitching and kind of running hurt. And I think I run the bullet, slammed through her. Um, and she, I'm pretty sure she ran 40 yards and crashed over there. But my dad's hunting right now. He's, we're gonna let him sit till dark. And Maggie and I, hold on baby, hold on baby. That's a, there you go. We're going to pack her stuff up and ease on out of here and meet up with him. But just wanted to get that on on video before the sun went down. It's a beautiful evening, man. It's, this is classic textbook. Did you have fun? Was that your coolest hunt ever? You're probably going to Chick-fil-A since you saw him first. All right. Well, we're going to gather our stuff up, and I'm just so super grateful for the opportunity to hunt with this little nugget. She was upset today, didn't really want to come, but I think we changed her mind a little bit, so. Man, I couldn't be more tickled. I couldn't either. I think we got one. I think we got one, too. Appreciate you coming. I love you. Let's do it. Did you hear me? I love you. Thank you for coming. Yeah. But I shot her. See this tree, little cedar right here? I shot her just to the right of that. Yeah. Yeah, it was right on the other side of that fence. Stay back here, man. A little water out here. That's brisket hair. They just come out of her belly. Just come out of her belly. She come out low. Yeah. And she, uh. Out through there, kind of. I, don't, I think she went through under. Right through here. Yeah. See if you can find some blood, Maggie. There's blood right there. Yep, there's it. Yeah. Got good blood right here. Look at her, Maggie. She's over here somewhere. Look ahead of you right there. Look at all that. Look right there on the ground. Look at there on that tree. He's dead. Oh, he's on here somewhere. You still on blood? Deer ought not be too much further, Jamie. I hope not. <laughs> she bleeding good. Didn't slip, did she? Yeah. <laughs> You're fine. Oh, yeah. Ah, blood, blood, blood. What 
you think about that? Oh, yeah. We fried her on up, didn't we? Fried, 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 fried. What, we gonna make cube steak? Yeah, boy. <laughs> Uh, you gonna drag her out of here now? Mm -hmm. Alright, we gotta get some pictures. By her ear. Thank you. We'll get to watch that one on YouTube. I'm gonna drag her by her ear. Alright. I hope Jamie brought his drag strap in here. Oh boy. Hey, I like that. Let me see. Let me see the black mustache again right here. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that thing's looking good. Straight in the brisket, oh, yeah. right where I am. You get your bullet back on that one. You can uh, reuse that piece of lead. I'm wondering if it didn't come out with that white hair the way it was. I doubt it. It may have. That's a slick old nanny right there. She wasn't as big as I thought she was. No. But man, that's a slick one. Look at the bullet broke her hip. Oh, yeah, it's back oh, there. Yeah. You'll get it. That's the bullet right there. Oh, you get it. Tore that hind quarter up. That bullet went all the way through here. There it is. That's hard to believe. That bullet went the total length. Total length of the deer. There, look at the. There it is. No wonder she folded up. Yeah, no doubt. That's reason. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. That's where that hair came from. Yep. Or either right here on this little patch. Yeah, it could have been. It, well, you won't have to dig through a gust to get your piece of lead back. Mm -mm. Oh, there it is. The first time I've ever recovered one of them. <laughs> it's pretty nasty. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> How cool is that, Maggie? Wow. You just cut him. The rifles, rifles cut, rifling cut it. Yeah, even though it just slides down the barrel. I know. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. We got a notch in this. No, these are just, this is them generic kind of tags. Don't? Grab a leg only. Grab a leg only. <laughs> oh boy. So tonight was hopefully the first of very, very many trips with magnolia where we were successful or where we we're going to be successful she um didn't really want to go this evening but she stuck it out i think mainly because she didn't want to upset me and i asked her if she wanted to turn around twice and uh, we pulled into the field and i went to put it in reverse and she said no 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 let's go so she stuck it out with me went in the woods and once we obviously get in the woods and things get a little bit more exciting, she has more fun, gets to open her snacks. But we sat there in about, uh, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour before dark. They came in there just like clockwork, just like they always do. Uh, no food in there, really. There's some pin oaks on the other property. I don't have corn out or anything. But they come slipping down that little fence line, but they were about 60 yards too deep. And I actually set up on the fence today because the wind was right, and they were still too deep. And uh, they finally started playing around it was like four or five six does i never really got a good count because i'd see three over here two over there three i just couldn't keep track of them whole time maggie's filming and uh finally they bounced back past us went by us again come back by us and then three or four of them went on down the fence line and this one what i thought was a big doe she came easing out and i could tell she had done changed her demeanor she didn't got into feed mode calm down mode she didn't quit playing and she turned and I could see her start to come across where they always do on that little fence line. It's just a, most of it's easy to cross anyway. I don't know why they cross in that one spot, but they do. And she turned to come across it and I could see Maggie's face to my right. I could see her doing this and I were looking at all of them. I said, Maggie, you gotta be still. And finally I saw her do, pick her head up and I saw her stomp one time. And luckily she stomped her way about, I don't know, four or five more steps closer. And I could, I mean, it was just like looking straight down her body. I said, I, it's now or never. So I went ahead and put it right on the where the, i could remember seeing that black piece of hair coming up where it met the brown below the throat patch and i put the 
the uh, post of my rifle right there and squeezed it off and she ducked tail tuck took off running and i heard her i mean it was five seconds after the shot of her crack and just heard a crash and i figured she was down but actually that bullet went in right in the chest and there's the exit hole that is the i guess back left hind quarter and that's where the bullet was hung underneath the hide it come all the way through that hind quarter after traveling the whole length of that deer i think it's about a i don't know if, I, I want to I want to say I weighted at 380 grains, but I want to say it's maybe 450 to 500 grains now that I think about it. But um, only traveling about 900 to 1,000 feet a second, and uh, it did a number. I I punched the heart, perfect entry and exit through the heart, and um, she was dead in seconds. Couldn't have asked for a better hunt, and uh, super tickled to have Magnolia there. That was the first hunt of us together where we were successful. And uh, she was able to film it all. We got it all on film, two GoPros and her camera. And hopefully, hopefully it turns out as much uh, or as well, as good as the, the memory that I have of it. So I'm um, going to go ahead and get this thing hung in the fridge. Another fine piece of meat for us, the family. And um, we'll get on inside and get washed up and spend some time with her. But I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. Like I, like I always say, I just, I just, uh, all I care about is chasing deer and doing it the hard school, hard hard way, the old school way. And to have Magnolia there and her to actually video the whole thing was incredible. She's only six years old and she was able to man the camera and um, just an just an awesome night. So once again, my year is continuing to get better and I don't know when it's going to stop, but I'm going to ride it until it does. So thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a good night. Thank you.